Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. We are starting this weekend day off by packing up some of our boxes into the truck to take to our storage unit and then we're going to go to Home Depot and get some supplies so we can work on the trailer today. So it's going to be a little vlog here in the beginning of this video and then we're going to get to work. We're going to be doing some painting today. But first things first, we need to get these boxes loaded up so everyone is pitching in and helping out taking them out to the truck and then we will head to our storage unit. So real quick before we go, I wanted to remind you guys of my really cool air freshener. I showed this to you guys a while back. I think it was like in March, um, but it is by Drift. But their air fresheners are designed to blend in and work seamlessly in any space. They're made to functionally complement the interior of your car. It's this little metal clip on and then I have the wood air freshener um, and it just is a magnetic little piece that sticks right on there. So you can switch out your scent each month. It just clips right onto your visor just like that. So Drift happens to be Scentbird's sister company, which you guys know I love Scentbird. They also create air care products for your home too, not just your car. So they have the stone freshener, the wood freshener, and then also a metal one, and I have the wood. But like I was saying, you can replace the scent each month, and so they have a subscription. First you receive the starter kit with the clip and the scent, and then you can just get monthly refills as they recommend changing it every 30 days. The best part is their scent of the month, and that features a new limited edition scent. Scents are inspired by the season and the memories and emotions attached to it. The subscription for Drift is super flexible. You can change it anytime. So you can change your scent choice, your delivery frequency, or you can cancel your subscription anytime as well. So I have the lemongrass scent. It smells so clean and fresh in here, but I do have a discount code for you guys. It's Kristen K 55 um, you guys use that coupon code and you will get 55% off at Drift for the first month. But I will have all the info linked in the description box for you guys. So let's go run our errands now. That's it. Perfect. 9.45. Thank you. <laughs> what are you shocked at the price? 9.45 for a cake pop and two brownies. Thank you. Okay. Two. Here you go, guys. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank Good. you. What would y'all like today? Uh, you're gonna get a medium iced strawberry rebel. Yeah. Small ice water. And a small ice water. Small ice water. Yep. Darn it. Anything else? Um, can I get a medium uh, peach ring um, rebel, rebel ice. iced? And can I get it sugar free as possible? Yeah, of course. With half the flavor? Yeah. Okay. If that's a thing. It's just with, like jumps of flavor. What? Yeah, I got you water, buddy. All right. Anything else today? That's it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, through the app today. Yes. Okay, and it says you set a preferred tip on there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Too. you. Thank you. All right. All right. I am looking at white paint colors on Pinterest, trying to figure out what white to do for the trailer because there's literally so many options. I do an off-white. So, off-white? Yeah. But off which one? You can't just go in and say, I want off-white. Like there's... Multiple versions? Yes, Multiple there's versions. so many. Our storage is getting very full. Yeah, and we still got dressers and yeah. mattresses, big gun safe, toolbox. I know. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep the samurai. I'm oh. going to take the TW out. Is that going to your dad's? Yeah. Eventually. I mean, I don't know when he wants it for my sugar. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff. Thank you. 
right, we got all those boxes put in here. Right now we're gonna go and head to Home Depot. to Nancy Joe's burgers for some lunch. Brody says he's gonna be the judge of this. He's become quite the burger connoisseur these days. You're gonna be the judge? We're gonna be the judge. Oh, you are too? Yeah, you guys all got the same thing. Is it good? What? This is good. Music video? Maybe. I've got to go put my hair up. I cannot. I cannot. This is so annoying. I'm about to chop it off. All right, we are back home, and my plan is to work on this slide out area. Um, I think we are going to take this insulation out because the carpet that was here had cat pee on it. And we've been working on getting that smell out of here. And it's it, yesterday I thought it was out totally, but we were running. I mean, we had bleach going in all the rooms, scrubbing things and windows open and all that. And then coming back in here today, I just still can smell it. And so I think we need to remove this and then see what the plywood underneath is looking like and assess the situation that way. Um... But what I'm going to be working on is filling all of the screw holes because those have to be filled before any like priming or painting. And then fill the holes. I got this plastic wood, all purpose wood filler. Um, and then, oh, the primer is in the truck, but I'll show you guys the primer that I got. So I'm going to prime. Um, I'm going to tape off. I typically don't tape whenever I paint, but. I do not want to get any paint on the sides of these, so I am going to tape off all of the window frames before I start priming the slide. Um, that's my goal for today, just to fill screw holes and prime this slide and then hopefully get that insulation taken out. I think I might do that first. Uh, we did price out carpet when we were at Home Depot today. So in the last video that I posted, I told you guys that I had called about replacing the carpet in this slide out and I had called the dealership where we bought our trailer from in 2019 and he called the Keystone, like, I don't know, the Keystone manufacturers um, to see about a replacement for this particular piece of carpet because it's like, you know, cut to fit and has like the binding on the edge and all of that. And with the carpet and um, the buy or the freight for it, it was going to be about $500, which is what I was, what I told you guys in the last video. Um, but they don't actually make the carpet color for these anymore. So they have the pieces, it's the same measurements for the newer version of our trailer, which is like a different color scheme. So it would have been like a silvery gray color. Um, so I, you know, got all that information, and then we went to Home Depot on this day and we priced out their bulk carpet. Like they have these huge rolls of carpet that you can purchase like however many feet you need. They're 12 feet wide, um, which ended up working out perfect for this area right here. And so you can, you know, it's 12 feet wide and then you purchase however many feet in the other direction that you need the length. Um, so we were able to do that. And for this slide out, it was about $75 for the carpet. So you'll see that in another video, but um, right here I'm just pulling out all the little staples that held down the insulation and the carpet. And luckily that like particle board plywood flooring was not damaged. We fully inspected it to make sure um, there was no damage on it. I am going to go ahead and go over that particle board with some Kills primer just to be safe, um, but from like looking at it it seemed fine but we just wanted to like seal it off just you know for extra extra measures so anyways now i am going to work on filling all of these screw holes first i have to kind of scrape them down and make them flat and then i will fill them in with that wood filler
Okay, now I'm here to tell you, like I mentioned, I have done so much painting in my life. Um, my stepdad owned a home maintenance business when we lived in Tennessee and he painted houses inside like so much. He taught me how to paint and he taught me that if you have a good paintbrush, you take your time and you edge everything slowly and carefully. You don't need to tape. So I never tape anything whenever I paint both of our homes that we've owned I've painted basically every single wall and never tape for some reason I said I'm gonna tape these windows just so we don't get any white paint on the black <laughs> um, I should not have done that because you know it was it was nice to edge on the tape so I didn't have to be careful um, it took me about 30 minutes to tape off all of these windows but when I went to peel the tape off a couple days later after priming, you know, two coats of primer and then two coats of paint, um, which I could have got away with one coat of primer, by the way. Um, it's always kind of trial and error in these types of projects. And I wanted to prime these walls uh, because they're different than like interior walls in a house. So I went to peel the tape off after I was done painting and it peeled off the paint around the windows so as I pulled the tape it was just peeling the paint and so I had to go back through and edge all of the windows <laughs> I had to edge all of the windows again um, and when I was edging the windows I realized that it's very easy to cut in around the windows without getting paint on them so just like a little a little lesson that I learned so I will not be taping off any of the other windows or anything else when I work on this because not only did I tape off the windows I taped off like trim and all sorts of stuff and it all did the same thing because RV walls are just not the same as walls in a house they're just it's different so now I know I will not be doing any more tape you're gonna see me doing lot, lots more tape on this day but Moving forward, <laughs> I won't be taping anything else off because I don't want to deal with paint peeling when I take it off anymore. So now I'm just taking my sanding block and I'm going through and sanding down all of that wood filler that I used just to make it nice and smooth so when we paint, it ends up looking like a new wall. But while I was doing this, I didn't know that I was gonna be doing wallpaper on this back wall. So I have wallpaper on the way. I, I fully like primed and painted this whole entire slide out, all three walls. And then after the fact, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna do wallpaper on this back wall. So I actually didn't have to do all the painting that I did on that wall, but that's all right. That just makes the wall better for <laughs> when we put the wallpaper up. But I'm just so excited for you guys to see it. Um, I'm excited to continue editing all these videos and showing you the progress that we've made. So thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you. Okay, here's a little update and a little plan, action plan here. So pulled out that uh, insulation and it's just like particle board under here. And we want to seal it. So the primer that I got is the Kills Interior Primer Maximum Stain and Odor Blocker. So we are going to prime the walls. I filled all those screw holes um, with that liquid uh, plastic wood. It's all ready to go, sanded it all down. So I'm going to get started priming. The kids really wanna help paint, so they're gonna help with that.
so I am just finishing up getting the walls primed. The kids did an awesome job. They wanted to use like a legit paintbrush and not a roller brush because they just thought that was more fun. So Berkeley and Brody did an awesome job priming a whole bunch of the walls, but I just finished up um, the windows and the, like around the trim and I'm just gonna roll on the last little bit here and then Donnie's gonna start working on pulling out the carpet in the kids bunk we did decide that we're gonna go ahead and just take that out we tried a couple different things to try to save it because we thought it was gonna be super expensive to replace um, after that first call that I made to the Keystone um, but after we had gone to Home Depot and realized that um, it wouldn't be very expensive to replace the carpet we went ahead and just said get it out of here let's just start from scratch and put in new carpet and I know a lot of you guys are asking why we didn't just put like um, like a laminate flooring or something like that down to match like the floors that are in here but we like carpet and it, I, we just feel like it makes like a room a little bit cozier and instead of putting like a rug down or something we just wanted to have carpet where there was already carpet so um, luckily we were able to figure out that we could do it on the cheap and not have to spend a whole bunch of money to replace the carpet so super thankful for that All right, another update. Two coats of primer are on there, and then you guys saw Donnie ended up taking out the carpet in the bunk room. So we have a plan for carpet. You dancing? Mm -hmm. um, he's yeah. looking at, what's it called, insulation? Yeah. Like the silver stuff that we pulled up, he's looking at more of that, because it's like an insulation for heat, cold, all that. Um, However, I am sound and heat and cold. Okay. So two coats of primer in the slide. So much brighter. And then I am still going to do primer on here just to seal. I was gonna start painting tonight, but I don't even know what time it is. It's 6.30. We've been at this all day today. Come in, baby. We've been doing been going all day today I need to make dinner and uh, we're tired from the last well three days now of working on all this stuff so I'm just gonna do the primer on there and get in the house and start making dinner so let's do that That is all primed and sealed up. And now I figure while I'm at it, while I got the primer out and everything, I might as well just prime down here where he just took the carpet out too because I'm gonna have to do that eventually anyway. So let's just go ahead and do that now. It's a pretty small space. Okay, I got the second coat of primer on here. Second coat of primer on here. But that is gonna wrap up this vlog. I gotta get in the house and make some spaghetti for dinner. But thank you so much for watching. Um, this third day of working on the trailer. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna start painting. Um, 
and possibly starting to like prime everything else like literally everything has to be primed everything that i'm going to paint white i can start to prime so stay tuned for the next video and i will see you guys again very soon bye